Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about an infamous gangster from Long Beach named Whisper. Francisco Moreno, known on the streets of Long Beach, was from the East Side Longos gang. Whisper would gain a notorious, ruthless, savage reputation. Whisper was the definition of EBK, everybody killer. Did not matter, Mexican, Cambodian, black, Whisper had killed or done serious harm to all of them. Whisper earned this label by committing multiple murders and attempted murders. Whisper would earn this street cred from the following events. On December 1st, 1992, at around 3.45 to 4 p.m., a week was held for Rafael Presidio, known as Keeper, who was a member of the KOS tagging crew in Long Beach. Mourners gathered at the home of the brothers, David Huzar, Ricardo Huzar, and Juan Caprio, at the corner of 20th Street and Myrtle Avenue, several people were sitting on the front steps of the house. Maria Huzar, the mother of the brothers, was inside the house, as were several members of Presidio's gang. The house is located in Barrio Pobre gang territory. Maria Alarcon, who was walking down 20th Street, witnessed the shooting. She saw a man on foot shoot the group of people in front of the Huzar home, which is about a half a block away. Alarcon could not tell whether the pistol the man was holding was wrapped in a towel or sheet. Alarcon hid in some bushes and saw the man run toward a waiting white car parked on Myrtle Drive by a woman. Alcaron observed that the woman was thin with shorter length curly hair. The car drove away quickly, went down an alley, and turned on 20th Street. Alarcon was worried about her children and she ran down the same alley towards her house. After she made sure her children were safe at home, she went back through the alley to the Huzar home. When the white car went by again about five minutes later, Alarcon could see it was the same woman. She could see the woman's face. Mandy Montez, who was one of the guests at the wake, was shot in the leg. The shooter was on foot and shouted, East Side Longo. At the trial of Francisco Moreno, who was known as Whisper, was identified as a shooter. Juan Carpillo was sitting on the porch when he was shot. He heard someone yell, East Side Longo. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw someone walking up at a quick pace. Carpillo turned for a split second and saw a figure with a rifle or a long gun. He turned and ran around the corner of the house. When he came back to the front of the house, he saw Montez, Valet, his brothers, and Jason Bandle lying on the ground. Carpillo heard from 15 to 17 shots. Carpillo saw that Huzar had been shot in the buttocks. Bando was lying on his back and gasping for air. Jason Bando tried to catch his breath and then he stopped breathing. Carpillo had made it inside the house, but he had also been shot. Maria Huzar, who was inside the house, was looking at the front screen door. She could tell the shots were coming from 20th Street. She looked toward where she heard the shots and saw someone carrying a white bundle. Before the shooting, she had seen a white car go by on Myrtle Avenue. The driver had light-colored shorter-length hair. Esperanza Ramirez was living in the area 20 at the Myrtle. She heard gunshots. Ramirez ordered her daughters to get on the floor. She looked out the window and saw a car go down the alley. The driver was a woman, and there was a male passenger. The woman's hair was not black. Police recovered 10 223 caliber expended bullet casings at the scene of the shooting. The murder weapon was never found. Jason Bando had four gunshot wounds. He had been shot in the abdomen, right arm, and chest. Moreno was convicted in June 1995 of the murders of victims Jason Bando and the attempted murders of the Huzars, Carpio, Valet, Montez, and Maria Lerma. 
Years later, in 2010, a second accomplice who was involved in the murderous rampage with Whisper was arrested. She was a woman named Lisa Cedillo. The Long Beach Police Department showed a six-pack photograph lineup to Alarcon and Ramirez. Both women identified Lisa as the driver of the white car. Unlike the other photographs, which were mug shots with the gray background, Lisa's photo was a DMV photo with a blue background. At a live lineup, neither woman selected Lisa as the driver of the white car. In a March 6, 2010 recording between Lisa and an unidentified male, Lisa boasts that she used to run with the Malditos all day. The Malditos, those were my boys. That was my clique. Lisa talked about her big homie, Whisper, and how he taught her everything she knew. He's doing life, and I'm out here walking free. I owe that. Like I told him, I owe you my life, homie. You took the blame for everything, and I'm walking free. And ever since then, it's been 18 years. On March 16, 2010, at 9.48 a.m., Lisa told Jose Brito that Whisper had gotten caught with the gun and had taken all the blame. Witnesses had picked her in the photo array, but did not identify her in the live lineup. Her boyfriend, Green Eyes, had given her a good alibi. In the early conversation, Lisa said, So for 18 years, since Whisper has been inside, I've been with them every step of the way. Whatever he needs from me, I always come through. On March 31st, 2010, Lisa spoke with Ruhani Bustamante, who asked her whether she remembered Keeper or Creeper from KOS who got killed. Lisa responded, Yeah, yeah, that was me and him. Lisa talked about how she used to be filled with anger and hate when she saw one of her enemies at the mall. She would spit at them. If they had a baby with them, she would throw the baby out of the car seat. Lisa Cedillo was convicted of second-degree murder, five counts of attempted murder. Lisa was sentenced to 35 years to life in prison. Francisco Moreno, also known as Whisper from Eastside Longo, is serving a life sentence for the attempted murders of David Huzar, Ricardo Huzar, Juan Caprio, Nicole Vallee, Mandy Montez, and Maria Lerma, as well as for the death of Jason Bandle.